Okay, Joel chapter 2, verse 28. The Old Testament books are not open. I haven't seen the light of day. And shall come to pass afterwards. I will pour out my spirit, the Holy Spirit, upon all flesh. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see visions. Also upon the servants, upon the handmaids, in those days will I pour out my spirit. Now that's the second advent. Ezekiel 11. Ezekiel 11, 19. This is going to be Israel at the second advent. Between that and the millennium. I don't know when exactly it happened. Israel is going to be newness. Newborn. Sound familiar? Nicodemus? You see, when Nicodemus said, can a man be born again? And Jesus questioned, uh, what did he say? You're an elder, so you're a scholar, whatever he said. You don't know these things? This is exactly what we're speaking about. We're talking about the new birth of a corporate people called Israel. Ezekiel eleven nineteen, I will give them one heart, unity. I will put a new spirit within you. They don't have the Holy Spirit. As a corporate body nation of Israel, they got an unclean spirit. Now, if an Israelite, a Jewish, or a Hebrew, if he gets saved today, he gets the Holy Spirit. I will take the stony heart out of your flesh, and they've been hard, stiff-necked, won't listen. I will give them a heart of flesh. I'm going to give them a normal heart. They're a stubborn race of people. God said it. Not me. Chapter 18. You see, what we're looking at is Scripture. Chapter 18, verse 31. You know, there's some people, I mean, they, Israel, Israel, support Israel. And that's good. Some of them don't even know why they say it. Some of them don't even know what's going to happen to Israel. Cast away from you all your transgressions. There is coming a day, Israel corporate, all their sins, all their transgressions, God will forgive. Whereby ye transgress and make you a new heart and a new spirit. Why will you die, O house of Israel? Now there are people that say God's all finished with the Jew. Impossible. Uh, chapter 36, I hope. Not bad writing. I hope it's 36. 25 or 26, bad writing. Verse 25. Then will I sprinkle clean water upon it. Do you see that sprinkling? You know that's what the Catholic Church does? That's replacement theology. The only one that God's going to sprinkle is the nation of Israel, not babies. If your church sprinkles, I don't care what age you, you are, if they sprinkle you, See, that's Israel corporate. I will, you shall be clean, forgiven their sins. All your filthiness from your idols. Look at it. All their idols are going to be clean. I will cleanse you. And you run to 1 John 1, with 1, 9. If you confess your sins, he's faithful and just to forgive you and cleanse you. That's an individual, correct? That's also the nation of Israel. When they will come before Jehovah God, Jesus Christ, and confess their sins and say, we are sorry. 
A new heart also I give you. A new spirit will I put within you, the Holy Spirit. I will take away your stony heart and your flesh. I will give you a heart of flesh. They got a hard, stony, rocky heart right now. One day, I will put my spirit within you. Will cause you to walk in my statute, that's millennium, and keep my judgment. Law's coming back. Go back to Joel. Joel 2. And we Christians are going to see this. We're going to be behind Jesus all the way. Didn't we just read that in Joel chapter 2 in the beginning? We're going to pick up Israel like Joshua picked up. Rahab. I'm going to show you a couple of scriptures more. Verse 30. I will show wonders in heaven. Plural. First, second, first heaven, second heaven, third heaven. And the earth, blood and fire, and pillars of smoke. There's a tribulation period. The sun shall be turned to darkness, the moon into blood, before the great and terrible day of the Lord come. That's the second advent. It shall come to pass that whosoever shall call upon the name of There's Romans 10. Remember that? Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. In this day and age shall be saved. In the second advent shall be delivered. <clears throat> We're going to pick up and deliver. You know, like your pizza. For in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem shall be deliverance. Jesus Christ. As the Lord has said. The remnant whom the Lord shall call. Now Mark 13. Mark 13. 24. But in those days after the, that tribulation. The, shall, the sun shall be darkened. The moon shall not give her light. The stars of heaven shall fall. Then verse 26, you shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds. Great power and glory. Uh, Revelation 6. Revelation 6. 12. When he opened the sixth seal, not to set, come to the end of the seals, lo, there was a great earthquake, and the sun became black as sackcloth of hair, and the moon became as blood, and the stars of heaven fell on the earth. Verse 14, heaven departed. Oh, you find that in, later on in the book of Revelation. That's just before the, the great white throne judgment. Eight, chapter eight, verse twelve. And the fourth angel sounded, and the third part of the sun was smitten, and the third part of the moon, and the third part of the stars, the third part of the was darkened. Now this is in the midst of the tribulation. Later on, it's all going to go dark. Then you got the second advent. Uh, Acts chapter 7. I went today and got a brand new Bible. My eyes are getting bad. And when I went and got a new Bible, I had to check the verse. Even the King James Bible. You got to check this verse. I'm looking for it. Alright. Uh, 
Acts 7 45. Check your King James Verse Bible with this. Because there are King James Bibles that don't have this. Check the King James Bible, 1 John 5. It says the Father, the Word, and the Holy Spirit, or Holy Ghost. But Acts 7 45. Which also your fathers came after, brought in with Jesus. Make sure you don't say Joshua. Now the footnote can say Joshua, but not the scripture. Why Jesus? Because Jesus is going to bring the Jews into the promised land like Joshua. But we're not going to pick up Rahab, we're going to pick up the Jews. Joshua is going to happen again. The plagues of Egypt is going to happen again. Acts chapter 2. Acts chapter 2. Verse 16. Now, had the Jews believed on the Lord Jesus, remember that? Remember we read that? Would you ever call upon the name of the Lord, shall I be saved? At Pentecost, had the Jews believed on Jesus, history would have been rewritten. Watch. Acts 2.16. But this is which was spoken by the prophet Joel. Oh, that sounds familiar. It shall come to pass in the last days, saith the Lord, I will pour out my spirit, capital S, upon all flesh. That sounds familiar. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, your old men shall dream dreams. That sounds familiar. And in my servants on my handmaids, I will pour out in those days of my spirit, capital S, and shall pro prophecy. I will show wonders in heaven above, signs in the earth beneath, blood, fire, and vapor of smoke. That sounds familiar. The sun shall be turned into darkness, the moon into blood, before that great and notable day of the Lord comes. And it shall come to pass, whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. O men of Israel, hear the words of Jesus of Nazareth, a man approved of God among you by miracles, wonders, and signs, which God did by him in the midst of you, as you yourselves also know. But in Acts chapter 7 that we read, when Stephen preaches to them and gives them the Jewish history, they murder Stephen. God sends a man named Paul, who was Saul, and he preaches to the Jews. And at one point, he, I mean, he's persecuted by the Jews. He wipes off the dust. He says, you know what? Your blood be upon your head. Henceforth, I'm going to the Gentiles. So we, Romans, Romans, you know this? We're going to do the Romans road. Romans 10. Verse 9. Thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus. If only Israel done that. And shall believe in thy heart that God has raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. If only Israel did that. For with the heart man believes unto righteousness, with the mouth confession made unto salvation. For the scriptures say, Whosoever believeth in shall not be ashamed. If you're ashamed of Jesus, you said verse 10, with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. If you don't talk about Jesus, and you are ashamed of Jesus. I have perfectly good right to say, 
I believe you're not. Now, I can't say you're saved or not, but I have scriptures say, I'll treat you as an unsaved person. For there's no difference between the Jew and the Greek. God's all finished with the, with the Jews. Paul's dealing with both of them now. He's speaking to the Jews. He, hey, listen, you guys are no better than the Gentiles. Believe on Jesus. Gentiles, believe on Jesus. For the same Lord over all is rich upon all that call upon him. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. That comes right out of Job. Israel has rejected the Messiah. Paul comes up and quotes Joel, like Peter quoted Joel, and he says, you know what? It can be for you to Jew or you to Greek. Salvation is now for both. Verse 15, you find it in the book of Isaiah. Verse 16, you find Isaiah in Isaiah 53. That's written to the Jews. But we are translating now over, not done with, but we are translating over the Gentiles, Jews included, verse 12. God has never been with the Jews. Corporately, they're on its shelf right now. But not individually. Corporately, Jacob's trouble is God spanking their hiney for their sin and rejection. The second advent is the approval, is the acceptance, is the new birth of the nation. Go to John chapter 3. Amazing Christians don't know this. Three, three. Jesus answered to say, "Verily I say unto you, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God." He's talking to a Jew. Nicodemus said, "How can a man be born when he's old? Can he enter the second time his mother's womb and be born?" That's a good question. Jesus answered very well, saying to thee, except the man be born of water and of the Spirit. Where'd you hear that? Joel. Ezekiel. Did we just do those verses? He cannot enter the kingdom of God. Hey, as a Jew, if you don't get that Spirit. Listen, when they died, they went to Abraham's bosom. They didn't get the Holy Spirit until Jesus suffered and died. And was buried and rose again. Remember Jesus said today, Thou shalt be with me in paradise, not heaven. And he opened the door to paradise. And he, But that which is born to the flesh is flesh, and that which is born to spirit is spirit. Marvel not that I say unto you, you must be born again. The wind bloweth where it listeth. Thou hearest the sound thereof, but thou canst not tell whence it cometh. And whither it goeth. So is everyone that is born of the Spirit. Nicodemus answers him, How can these things be? Jesus answered, Art thou a master in Israel and knowest not these things? Hey, you ought to know them. You're a master. You know the scriptures. How are you supposed to know the scriptures? I just read them to you in Ezekiel in the book of Job. You know who doesn't know that? that when Jesus came? You know who didn't know that? The people of Israel didn't know that. You know who don't know that today? The church doesn't know that. Oh, you know, we're waiting for the, You don't even know what the rapture is. You don't even know what church age you're in. 